Spotify stock has soared over the deal with Joe Rogan. So they got his entire catalog and exclusivity for uh, over a hundred million dollars. And they're probably, he's probably moving to Texas. Um, the stock is up huge over there for them. So if you had stock and um, Spotify, you made some money. Uh, some reactions, Joe Rogan's move to Spotify is a huge loss for YouTube and due to bandwagon effects, we'll have big YouTube creators looking elsewhere for bigger deals too. One wonders if YouTube censorship concerns prompted the move. Now, I downloaded the Spotify app just to see what it's like. And uh, I got to say, I'm not a fan. I I'm really not a fan of the way Spotify works, but... I guess I'm going to have to get used to it come September. That's when he's officially making the move. And then later in the year, he'll be exclusive. Now, he said um, his videos, like his clips, are still going to be on YouTube. So he's going to have the YouTube clip channel. Although, I wonder if, like, YouTube will then, like, use an algorithm to mess with it since he signed an exclusive deal. Plus, I love that video going around of him trashing like Spotify with um, Steven Tyler, and then he signed the deal with him. But, I mean, this is crazy. Like, um, his main crew hasn't really talked about it. Like, all I saw is Brendan Schaub just put, like, a smiley face when someone said, like, in Howard Stern said, podcasters can't make money. But the Vaughn tweeted out, where were you when Joe Rogan went to Spotify? Although my entire thoughts on this are... Obviously, there's going to be a falling off. We This is the exact, me and um, we were talking about this last night in the live stream. This is almost the exact same situation as Howard Stern going to Sirius XM. He's going to bring a bunch of people, but the vast majority of his audience isn't going to come. So is the bunch he brings over enough and make it worth it? Worth $100 million? Maybe. Probably, and with Stern, it was way more than $100 million. And I guess that did ultimately work out in Sirius's benefit, although you can break down those numbers, but I'm not going to get into that. But it's completely anag analogous, and this probably is coming coupled with him moving to Texas. Now I 100% believe he is moving, and probably to Texas. Um, so he signed that deal. Uh, he's probably going to back off on the podcast schedule, meaning now he'll probably just do it once a week. And he doesn't have to worry about getting guests or anything because he's no longer going to be like, oh, we got to go do Rogan. I mean, um, like uh, Andrew Schultz talked about uh, with Charlemagne the God, the Rogan bump. <laughs> the Rogan bump is probably gone if he's just going to be exclusive on Spotify. So... I don't know, but their stock is soaring. Everyone's talking about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.